Hey, today we're going to replace these side steps, these OEM side steps, with a more durable OEM Toyota rock rail. These are easily available. I ordered them online at Toyota. They were available the very next day. Um, separate part number, they are KDSS compatible. First step, remove the flimsy side steps. There's going to be six 10 millimeter bolts into the rail itself, and then six 12 millimeter bolts into those brackets. You see these are attached to the body, and as some people call them, they are a damage multiplier. For a decent video for installing rock rails, I'll link to Timmy the Tool Man. He did a good video a few years ago. I'll put that either at the end or in the description. Also at the end, I have a screenshot of my receipt with the part numbers for these rock rails from Toyota with the price. So I found that the easiest way to remove these was to take these six 10 millimeter bolts out from the side step itself. Once that spare light one handed, you can pull this right off, then remove those six, or I'm sorry, those three brackets with the six 12 millimeter bolts. And here you can see the damage I did to that side step with a running over a log last, last spring up on Long Canyon. And of course, with the Milwaukee Fanboy quarter inch impact driver special, it took me less than a minute to remove the driver's side side rail. And there are two separate part numbers for these rock rails right side and a left side. Again, they are compatible with KDSS. There's cutouts for all the appropriate lines. Both the rock rails come with their own complete hardware kit. There are five 12 millimeter bolts. The ends of each of the curb tubing are open and you can see that one vertical piece there is a drain hole. That is the bottom of the rail. There's the cutouts in the plate brackets, left and right side. You see that opening right there in that rail or in the tubing. And if you need to order a hardware kit, there it is right there. There's the part number. I didn't realize each rock rail came with its own kit, so I had ordered one. So installation is super easy, especially if you have a helping hand. The vehicle frame is already tapped for these uh, M8 1.25 threads. What I gotta do is clean those threads out. So I half ass wiped down the frame and cleaned out those threads, hit it with a little bit of liquid branch, hit it with a thread chaser. Sometimes I'll just dab a little bit of grease on the end of the thread chaser and it'll catch all the gunk as I put it through. Uh, this time I just use a liquid wrench. I don't know how well that works. After that, hit it with some brake cleaner. From here, if you have an assistant, it's super easy. And just have your lovely assistant lift up one side of the rock rail. I started at the passenger side, I'm sorry, the passenger, the front side of the vehicle, put the one bolt in, uh, move back 
to where the lovely assistant was standing, put that bolt in, and then threw the rest of the bolts in myself. Um, I don't know what the torque specs are for these. Uh, in this particular case, I know it's a Japanese car, but I did use the German method and got them in guten tight. So here you can see the cutouts in the rail as those lines go through it. There's the KDSS. I did not have to order anything special. All the parts are KDSS compatible. And here you go. I don't think it's bad for a $600 total price for light duty fire roads, mining roads, I think they're going to work great. Only thing I really don't like about them is there's no longer a place to step to access anything I put on the roof. Otherwise, seems great.